One Suit News was not brought to you by Avienti Travels and Tours. Best prices anywhere, and if not, we make refunds at black market prices. The CBN ain't got nothing on us. Good day and welcome to One Suit News. Same suit, same facts, all the time. Budget cuts. Today we're talking about the versatility of talent in leadership positions in the Nigerian Armed Forces. Leadership that can easily make the transition from one career path to another. And they don't come more versatile than Air Vice Marshal Adiola Amosu. Mr. Amosu is going to be making the transition from the Nigerian Air Force to entertainment by bringing a new meaning to P. Diddy's group, Diddy Dirty Money. But before he makes that transition, he might be spending some time counting his dirty money in prison. The EFCC probe of the purchase of military hardware ordered by President Buhari has revealed a stench that's reached the high heavens, and it seems to be coming out of the contents of Mr. Amosu's backside. Trust me, Nigeria's refuse problem is bad enough already, but this is a different kind of I can't breathe. An EFCC raid of Amosu's Badagri residence produced a slimy revelation. A reported one million dollars hidden in his suck away. Ah. Hey listen, one dollar was worth 400 naira yesterday. So basically Amoso had the equivalent of 400 million naira in his septic tank. Whew. If Nolly would ever need an inspiration for a script about Amosu, they can't do much better than a film adaptation of Stinking Rich, a crime novel by Robert Brunette. The EFCC has also picked up Amosu's wife. <laughs> what a corrupt air marshal can do, his wife can do better. It's been reported that about 17.5 billion naira has been found in accounts belonging to three air force chiefs with some accounts belonging to their wives. Love and marriage, forevermore, in sickness and in health and stealing government funds. So what are just three members of the Nigerian Air Force doing with almost 18 billion naira? Well, hold on Nigeria, hold on. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. The money is probably the budget for the highly anticipated Top Gun 2. One Suit News will keep up with the developments of this story as more details come forward. In other news, an economic tragedy of seismic proportions has befallen an innocent couple in Ibadan that did not deserve it. 32-year-old Alpha Yusuf Ewenje and his 28-year-old wife Sakirat Rasak gave birth to not one, not two, not three, not four, but five children. They basically had a child for every finger on my hand. And as if this situation wasn't bad already, the couple are already parents to two children, ages five and three. Seven children total. That's a starting professional basketball team, plus two players on the bench. Seven children in an economy heading towards double-digit inflation. An economy with 17% underemployment, facing sub-$30 per barrel crude oil. An economy with a president that might not be able to count to seven. Speaking to journalists, Yusuf said, quote, We realized that Allah was going to bless us with something special when my wife had a scan after three months of the pregnancy. Hey Yusuf, if by special you mean getting financially crushed into dust by this insurmountable burden of life, then you couldn't be more correct. But blessings from above don't usually lead to people begging for help. But Yusuf, who is an Islamic cleric that teaches the Quran for a living and earns less money than a gege bread sellers before they become supermodels, has appealed to the governor of Oyo state and well-meaning Nigerians for financial help. But with Oyo being one of the bankrupt states that still owes salaries to civil servants, I'm not sure if Yusuf is one of the governor's priorities. So, we have to come together and step in. If you would like to assist Yusuf and Sakira, as well as prevent other Nigerian couples from being overwhelmed by the cost of diapers, baby formula, and waking up at 3 a.m. and realizing there aren't enough nipples to feed five screaming children and being mentally driven to jumping in front of oncoming traffic, please use the hashtag Team One Child and send more condoms to our studio. That's our segment for today on One Suit News. Same suit, same facts, all the time. Have a great day, and for the love of all things financially sensible, 
please reproduce at a reasonable pace. Good night.